Hello, dear friends. Today, Sunday, I hope you all had a beautiful Shabbat. I'm not even counting anymore exactly how many Shabbats that we have been already not together in Shul, us and all the other synagogues here in Montreal and in most places around the world. And <clears throat> though there's a lot of talk now, especially in Quebec, about restarting synagogues, maybe outdoors to a certain extent, hopefully soon indoors. It is uh, something that we all look forward to, but we don't look forward to it because we have nothing without it. We look forward to it because how much more we can have when we have it. But I think as we talk often during this time, we have to get ourselves ready for when the synagogues reopen to really have learned something to approach synagogue and coming together in a much more special way. And I want to share with you something from this week's Torah portion that I think sheds light on how we have to view what it is that we look forward to coming back together to. And we talk about Aaron, the coin, the first coin, who part of his responsibility was to light the menorah. And we are told, Baha'alos cha'as haneros, that when you raise up the candles, and the commentator is Rashi, the foremost commentator on the Torah, questions, what does it mean when you raise up the candles? They usually light a candle. What do you mean you raise it up? And we're told it means that you have to light the candle that it stands on its own. It doesn't need support all the time from yourself, the one who's lighting it, but it can stand tall on its own and shine brightly. And this is not just a symbol of what happened in the temple, because what happened in the temple is a symbol of what happens to every one of us. Our lives is a microcosm of the temple. Lighting the menorah was one of the main services in the temple. And it was not done to light up the room, because the menorah was lit in the evening when no one was there. It was done as a symbol of what we are supposed to be, that each one of us is supposed to be a candle that is lit. But how are we supposed to be lit? It's very nice to be lit when there are many others around and we're just somehow a part of the fire. So we're told, no, your candle has to be lit that it stands on its own. Every one of us have to learn to light our candle so that it stands on its own fully and completely. We don't come together because without coming together we cannot exist and we cannot practice Judaism and we cannot live as a Jew or even be a decent good person. We come together because imagine so many candles that stand on their own come together, how much stronger it will be. And you know, it's interesting when you watch what's going on, maybe it quieted down a bit, But the protests, the gatherings, many of them turn into riots and vandalism and looting. And everybody is joining into groups of what is going on. Now, Judaism says, learn how to stand on your own. Learn how to stand tall yourself. You may need support to be able to get that. And as the Rebbe once told a dear friend, a great ambassador for the Jewish people who worked for five prime ministers, Yehuda Avner, when he asked, what is the duty of a Rebbe, the responsibility of a Jewish leader, the leader of the Jewish people, and he said that everyone has a candle and the Rebbe shows you how to light it, but you got to light it on your own, because if it's going to be your candle, if it's going to be your life, it's going to be your statement, if it's going to be your Judaism, it has to be lit by yourself, and it has to be lit to stand tall. And this is what I think we have to get ourselves ready, because it's going to happen soon, we're going to be soon in synagogues. In maybe with restrictions in smaller numbers, but it's going to happen. But I hope when we come back, it's not just what it was, but we're coming back taller candles, stronger candles. We're going to come back with a strength that we've never seen before. Not just so happy to see each other, which I'm going to be happy, I'm sure many are going to be happy. But much more, it's going to be about us being so much more powerful, so much brighter, so much stronger, so much more sensitive so much more committed to the Jewish ways, so much more proud of who we are, and so much of a deeper understanding of what we stand for. So when we come back, we're going to burn so bright that the synagogues are going to be at a different level. And any one of you who didn't yet come to synagogue, I'm sure during this time you had your chance, you're using the chance, 
to burn your candle bright. And we look forward to being together then. But what counts is today. Learn to make the candle stand tall. Don't let the candle bend. A candle that bends for everything goes out sooner or later. But a candle that learns to stand tall and straight only illuminates around them, does not bend to others. We historically never bent to other forces, to other influences. We stayed very strong, committed to the way Hashem had shown us. And that is how we have to continue. And today even stronger. Because definitely the world would be a better place, not just for us, but for everyone, for all of humanity, when we learn how to stand strong and we help teach others how to stand strong and tall. So let's continue to stand stronger, taller, and we'll get through this and very quickly. We'll be a power together, a nuclear reaction. Be well, have a great day.